in my new laptop I was suddenly having this problem that is the K-Mod exception error and a blue screen was appearing so it was getting difficult to work. Finally I decided to format my system and load it with Windows 10 and after the process completed I encountered a different blue screen that is the memory management. Now I tried out possible fixes for that and I would continue by sharing them with you. Uh, the last time I did about the thread stuck in device driver, the problem I was having. I think I have finally fixed the problem because the blue screen does not appear now. Um, but there is some problem with the Microsoft Edge that I find that I am not able to use it. Uh, for example, if I access Microsoft Teams from there and during the meeting, during a meeting, or if we I am accessing WhatsApp or doing access or browsing any website, then suddenly it would just stop that process and then show a problem I forgot the the actual text that is shown during the problem as a first step make sure your system is updated to the latest version for that go to settings from here uh, click on update and security and then install all the updates that are available and I'm having some problem installing this update so I'm leaving it currently but this was the fix that happened for um, that worked for me that after updating the system uh, windows to the latest version the problem vanished now there might be other problems that uh, uh, the problem might happen due to loading of a uh, software incorrectly or corrupting of a system file which might happen during the installation of a program if you remember installing any program that uh, after which that problem is happening then go for uninstalling those programs that you have installed uh, or if you don't currently remember or if you remember a time till which your pc used to or your computer used to work correctly then you can go to system restore so click on start and okay not system restore we go for recovery yeah from start and from here you will get able to get this uh, option that is open system restore on system restore and click next from here select the um, a restore point that you think would be uh, enough for correcting your system um, for example here this is auto created by windows for the windows modulus modules installer so you can go back to that restore point or if you have created for yourself one restore point then that would also be helpful for you after restoring your computer should work properly now for safety reasons before you start the restore process uh, it might happen that uh, the restore process fails but windows has taken that operating system thing to a next level that if it fails to continue with the installation or if it fails to reset your pc it does not delete or wipes out your files it leaves wherever they are the changing from one version to windows uh, to a different version of windows is now very much fluent and easy smooth and easy but let's get back to the topic that is um, just for safety reasons copy all the files that are, that you have here uh, which you will file uh, find in c slash users and this one this folder basically contains all your personal stuff such as your desktop, documents, um, downloads and everything that are basically mainly stored out here. Now if you talk about the other files, they are the system files like the program files x86, they contain all the programs, the program files also contain programs. So they uh, even if you restore them if even if you keep them they won't be much of any use so basically you need to copy this folder that is this one your user folder to a different partition or a different drive that it attached to a computer for example i'm having this uh, data d that is a hard drive and this is an ssd so i'll just copy from this one to here and just for safety reason and then uh, open system restore and click on next 
click on next select this click on next ready to restore click next and it will continue now i don't want to restore my system because i've already done it i have resetted my pc now if that doesn't work then you might want to reset your pc completely for that go to settings and search for reset reset this pc now this one it might happen that your windows has become corrupted due to some reason then you can select this option or if you know the problem from where it is happening then you can definitely go to advanced settings and restart um, uh, into safe mode so click on get started and select the option keep my files or if you have copied them already to uh, to the different drive then you don't need to think about them you can click on remove everything then wait for the process and then click on cloud download to reinstall windows from the cloud this is a better safer process because um, it will be downloading the windows from the in uh, internet and installing it in your system so that if your version of windows becomes corrupted you can easily change it select the correct option and it will guide you through the process now if updating doesn't work then you just you need to check for problems inside your system so for that you need to be logged in as the administrator because i think that is an administrator exclusive tool um and click on start and search for memory yeah windows memory diagnostic this one and open this click on restart now and check for problems which uh, you need to save all your work and then restart the system and it will check for the problems that are there and then you need to check for the uh, so for that you need to open event viewer and click on windows logs go to system and then find search for memory diagnostic since I have not done that so it doesn't appear and uh, after you've done the test it will definitely appear uh, the correct process will appear the event will appear and the result of the event will be shown here if you don't have any problems inside the system then it will show that your system does not any problem now another problem might be that your drivers are not updated so, we, so make sure that you have updated all the drivers out here and uh, all the latest version of the drivers that are running uh, in your system and if none of these options work for you then sad to say it is probably that your hardware is the prob main problem and you need to fix or change your hardware in order to continue using your computer or what you can do is switch to a different operating system where you can get rid of this problem but I don't think that will work enough like what I had done earlier with my old laptop which was uh, having a damaged graphics card due to which that thread stuck in device driver problem was coming um, although I fixed it properly in Windows but uh, it was it is not a fix it is just a temporary measure for the problem so if you want a permanent solution for, for a permanent solution for the thread stuck in device driver I have to switch to a different operating system. The problem was solved in Windows but not very much reliable to that sense since the hardware is mainly damaged. So you need to change your hardware or choose for a better operating system where you won't be getting that problem but the next option won't work probably. So that's all for today.